Hey guys, Joyce and Anthony, aka JJ, and something I need to practice is interpolation. Okay, I'm gonna use the marker brush and I am going to draw a triangle on frame number one. And now I'm gonna move the cursor to, let's do 35, and I'm gonna move the triangle. Now that I've done that, I have two keyframes in this animation. It's kind of jumpy, so I'm gonna place my playhead in between those two frames and go to edit, grease pencil, and then interpolation sequence. I want it to be a more gradual animation. So interpolation essentially drew the keyframes in between for me. When my playhead is paused, you can kind of see this opaque purple triangle and then if my po my playhead is paused somewhere else like right there you can see this green opaque triangle You're probably wondering what that is um that's actually called onion skin and you can turn it off if you don't like it if you go to the top it actually used to be right there in a uh, viewport overlays but if you click on right draw grease pencil you can always turn it off but i'm gonna keep it on Okay, I'm gonna delete that interpolation. So now I'm just left with my original two keyframes. So the previous animation, it was good. It was just a little too smooth for me. Another thing I can do is I'm gonna click this interpolation button. And as I hold down the left click on my mouse, I can actually adjust where I want the next keyframe to be. So I'm gonna move it again. And making sure I'm holding down my left click button on my mouse and I'm gonna fast forward to the end to show you now I'm gonna experiment I'm gonna draw two scenes and play with interpolation this will be my first scene Okay, I finished inking her and before I go in and color, I want to make an animation of her reading and then looking up and smiling. So let's see how that comes out. I moved her, moved the book, moved her body. I think that's good. Let's see the interpolation sequence. Oh no, I do not like that at all. <laughs> I'm gonna make it shorter. I think the last one was 35 frames. I'm gonna make this, yeah. I'm gonna probably make this 15 frames. Let me interpolate that. Um, that's better. Yeah, I guess it's it's better. But one thing I have not played with are the different options when you do the interpolation sequence. You can change the steps. I'm gonna change that back to one, the layer. I mean, you can interpolate all the layers. I just wanna keep the inking layer right now. The flip mode, you have no flip, flip, or automatic. I'm just gonna keep it automatic. 
smooth okay let me see if i make if i increase the smooth let me play that i'm gonna put the smooth back to zero the next option is iterations i don't know okay And last is the type, which the default is linear, but as you can see, you have all these options. I know what linear looks like, so I'm gonna try custom. I'm gonna play with this. I'm gonna play that, and once I play the animation, the black box disappears. I actually have to delete the interpolation and go through the whole you know, grease pencil interpolation sequence again for the black box to appear again so it's not just reappearing when i want to just let you guys know i edit it out to save time I played with most of the options and in the end, I just went back to the default, the linear type. When I colored her, I made two layers. I made the skin layer and then the layer above where I added her clothes and hair and I colored everything. So I figured out to interpolate this, the, the coloring has to be in one layer, no masking layer. So I'm actually going in and erasing the masking layer. So now that that's done, I am going to edit how I want the coloring layer to be in the final frame. I am in sculpt mode and I'm using the push brush to push her clothes to keep it in the lines for the final frame. Okay, now that I finished that, I'm gonna interpolate the sequence. As I was testing this, I just wanted to see if, cause if you remember before, I had the interpolation, the inking layer. Now this is the color layer. I just wanted to see if I could have two interpolate sequences on top of each other. And yeah, I think it came out pretty good. For my next experiment, I, want him to blink and then i want him to blink then his eyes to open then a little smile that is my goal for this experiment i'm finished let me interpolate the sequence and see how that oh whoa let me zoom in. oh no i don't know what happened okay so it's about right here where i realized his eyes are on one layer i'm gonna need to make a, a separate layer with just the inking inking his eyes. Okay, so right here, I'm making a separate layer where I'm gonna ink his eyes. For the final keyframe where he winks, I'm not gonna redraw it because off camera I tried to interpolate that sequence and it did not look good. So I am going to smush it together and then use the sculpt to make it look like a closed eye. Let's see how that looks. Okay, yeah, that's good. I want him to wink and then him to open it, both of his eyes again. And I found this out, shout out to Reddit. You're gonna select the keyframes, click 
shift D and then move the playhead outside of the selected keyframe. So I'm going to move it right there. And then you click S negative one. Okay. I'm going to drag them from the negative and put them back to where I want them to be. Okay. So now when I play it, he should blink and then open his eyes again. Yeah. almost done now i want him to smile i want him like his smile to spread after he winks Okay, I'm really doing this to see if I can fit three interpolation sequences in one animation because I have him winking. That's one interpolation him opening his eye. That's another interpolation and then him smiling. I want this to be the third interpolation sequence. Let's see how that looks. Okay, that's good. Off camera, I went into each individual frame with his lips and drew it in because right now it doesn't move. So I, I wanted to, to do that. And let's see the final animation. It was fun playing with the interpolation. Hopefully you've learned something too. I learned a lot. This is Joyce and Anthony, AKJJ. Until next time.